What's everyone? This is Bobatini here, bringing an episode of Ball Mission Mission Dungeon Gates Infinity. And uh, yeah, um, as you can see, I've been playing for 12 hours. Well, actually, more like six hours because that the rest of them is my is just my 3D is laying somewhere while charging while I'm editing. So yeah, let's continue the adventure. Um, this is where we last left off. In case you don't know, really know where we are. And yeah, I did some research. The cave up ahead is not that hard, to be honest. Um, because I was really worried about us being underleveled and stuff like that. But yeah, it's not really that hard. It's five floors plus six. And yeah, um, it shouldn't really have that much damage. It shouldn't really, uh, be that hard, to be honest. But yeah, um, encourage C day. Yeah, let, let, yeah, but. There is an area coming up ahead where it's gonna be really hard, trust me. Um, I'm probably having to train a bit there or speed up some parts where I fail. But yeah, it's gonna be really hard. Damn you! <laughs> uh, is it you that has the encouraged? Yes, it is. Let's kill you off. Oh, wait, it's not the. Oh, shit! Stop using furry swipes! Let's heal up again. Yeah, it, this this place is somewhat hard, somewhat not. And uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get on with this. Um, let's go down here. And there are the stairs. Hooray! We need two more floors. Yeah. No, three more because there's only five floors here. But yeah. Ah, uh, we need this next lecture though. Bag is too full. My bum. Uh, <laughs> Why do we have so many of these? No. God damn it. Oh well. Oh shit. Um, let's do a job against you. Yeah, um, here we go. So yeah, let, let's get on this. Maybe let's go down here. And I'd like to say thank you to everyone that's got me, that's, that has gotten me to uh, 6,600 subscribers as I'm recording this. Almost at 7,000, which is unbelievable. Like, damn. Thank you so much for all the support, guys. And, uh, yeah, it just means a lot to me, and, yeah. So, thanks a lot, and I'll be continuing this marathon, but a lot of people seem to be unhappy with me asking for a certain amount of likes before I upload the next part. Well, the reason why I'm doing that is because what I've noticed is that sometimes, with me uploading, like, consistently, like, I mean, like, five videos within a few minutes, uh, it, it, I barely have time to record and edit, then like, I don't have a stock of videos so in case something happens or something comes up. Today, I don't think anything would, should come up because, well, most of my family's out doing, going shopping and stuff like that. Because I'm right now, I've been home alone the whole day, so I've been recording the whole day, but, um, yeah, so in case something happens where I have to, like, um, do a chop. Some people, like, if I, if I can't record anything like that, then I can just, uh, well, have something ready for you guys, because otherwise, there's no videos for you guys, so that's why I'm doing this, so that while you go and like the video, I can go and record a whole bunch, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, let's save your adventure, save your continue, your adventure will be saved, please don't turn the power. Of course we're not, of course we won't turn the power. No, okay, listen. I'm not gonna turn it off. This game's awesome, and I'll be playing it as full as as much as I want. Okay. Now this second place only has seven floors, so don't worry about being lost or something like that. Yeah, um, if that makes sense. Bag is too full, eh? Well, we need a new bag then. So yeah, goes up to seven uh, seven floors, so not bad for this. But the upcoming things are hell hard. All I'm gonna say is that they're really hard, and uh, you're gonna have some trouble with them if you're a bit under level because you, I think you're supposed to be like level 35 when taking it on or around 30 um but yeah you're supposed to be level 30 eh, let's skip you Bagon Shellgon I should say not Bagon oh there are the stairs there we go so we're done there and uh, yeah we're gonna see an epic <gasps> I finally made it out of there phew I'm pretty tired but I've got to keep moving forward. And you see this epic... Uh, a dead end. No, it's sheer. It's a sheer cliff. And it's pretty far to the ground. I'm not sure I can climb down from here. Maybe if I can find enough holes. Hey, fellas. Game's up. 
Cobalt's up here, Croak! We finally caught up to you, Croak. Looks like we're gonna be the ones to finish the job first. First? Wait a second, if they're going to finish the job first, then that means they haven't caught Callum? If that's true, then I've got it. Might as well give up, Runt! You're going, you're going down right here, right now, Croak! I've got to get away, away no matter what. I'm going to escape too, Callum. Oh, crap. Yes. First, I'm going to use a slumber orb because I want to put all these Pokemon to sleep. Yeah. What's now? What, you woke up? How dare you? Revenge, eh? Let this dude shot you. There you go. Dude shot you. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I kept that slumber orb, because right now, all we need now is this stupid, bold gigalith. And now I'm going to use a, with go on reviver seed, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use another slumber orb, just to make, so that I don't dare really die here. There we go, dual chop. And another dual chop. And you're done there, it's not that hard. Um, I've seen a lot of people struggle with that, but just use slumber orbs or parallelous orbs and you should be good. Uh, C C Croak, I did it. I finally beat them. Now it's my chance. I've got to get down from this cliff. Uh, but I'm so tired from running. My legs feel like, my legs feel like dead. Lead, not dead. Like when I get lead, you go get away. Croak, somebody, any, anybody, can you hear me? We're up here. Cobble is up here. Oh my goodness. No more of them. Roar. What now? Holy mackerel. Where the heck did this thing come from? What the heck? No, I don't want to battle you. No, 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 no. I don't have any slumber orbs. Good timing, Salamence. Go after a little cobalt. Croak, croak. No way. No, now I've got to take all these Pokemon by myself. Even without this, I already used up all my strength. I barely have the energy to stand, and now this? Good. Go, Croak. Drill. Yeah, dodge those punks. Yeah, that's right. Ah, no! Oh, I'm gonna fall! Uh, they're coming for me, but I can't get out of the way! Ah! Koa, please duck! What? Oh my goodness, are you bad? Are, like, are you on my team or something? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You're getting pwned by a Hydreigon. This Pokemon is. We're escaping Cobalt. What? Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. You saved me. Thank you, Hydreigon. Oh, I croak. Yeah, that's right. We escaped with vicious power right there. Yeah, that's right. What now? Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would like to save my adventures. Thank you for asking, by the way. And thank you for saying, please do not turn the power. <sighs> what? What in the world? What happened? W where am I? That's right. I I fell from the cliff. And... Oh, you're awake at last. Hi, <laughs> Dragon! Oh, I'm sorry that I startled you. I I I'm sorry, but... But I definitely won't eat you or attack you or or battle you or defeat you or crush you or or anything like that. No, no, not you, Cobalt. Definitely not. I'm telling you the truth. Please believe me. Th that's right. I remember now. When I was in trouble, Hydreigon suddenly appeared. And I think he saved me when I fell from the cliff. Oh, good. It looks like you've calmed down a little, at, a little at last, at least. I'm sort of relieved to see that. You're unconscious for, for a really long time, Cobalt. Unconscious? Yes, that's right. We are now in a small cave in the valley near Mount Kilinoi. I flew all the way here carrying you, Cobalt. You're heavier than I expected. Honestly, I was exhausted. I just keeping the two of us in the air was tough. And then I chose the most hidden spot I could find. And I struggled all the way here. I did re a really good job, don't you think? I would say so. I, I would say we won't be found soon in a place like this. And you seem to be so very tired, Cobalt. You just wouldn't wake up, so you know, I was very worried. But now you're awake, at last. Somehow, it seems like Hadragon 
He was not quite the Pokemon I thought he was. Now I'm really confused. This scene I saw in my dream. Th that Hydreigon definitely gave off a scary vibe. But this Hydreigon seemed polite and well-spoken. Not scary at all, really. That vision of Hydreigon chasing Winnow was what I... What it started it all. Because of that vision, I thought I had to, s to go save Muna. But when I did, Muna turned around and attacked me instead. And the one who actually saved me from here was Hydreigon. I feel like everything is turned upside down. Hmm. I'm, I'm ever so glad you're awake. After all, Cobalt, I have wanted to meet you for such a long time. What? You didn't hear my voice, didn't you? Back in the human world? Oh, come on now. You can't tell me you've forgotten already, right? Hydreigon's voice in the human world? Wait a second. In the human world? It, it can't be. The voice I heard before I turned into a Pokemon. That voice was... You. You can now hear my voice. Might you be a human? If you are, then please listen to my plea. I want to save the Pokemon world. Does he really mean that voice was... I always assumed it was Muna calling out to me, but... It wasn't Muna at all. It was Hydreigon. It appears you've remembered it at last. I sure it was tough, you know, and just when I thought I had finally gotten through to you in your dream, then Muna took control of my voice, and in the end she went for even further and showed you the terrible fake vision. She made you think I was bad, that I was the bad guy, my goodness, can you believe it? What? That vision was fake? So that scene I saw, it was something Muna made up to trick me? Th then that explains why... I didn't think anything over the time, but during that dream, might you be a human? If you are, then please listen to my plea. I want you. I want you to save the Pokemon world. We need you. We need your. Hydreigon's voice actually cut off at that point, and then it seemed like there was an interference of her second, like static. So that was when Muna took over Hydreigon's voice, and she was the one who. Help! That's right. Muna was the one who just really cried out for help, and the scene that followed, that was the link to it all. That managed the Hydreigon chasing down Muna. That's right, that's exactly right. It was quite convincing, wasn't it? No, wait, I mean, it was terrible of her, absolutely rotten. <clears throat> and ever since you came to this world, Cobalt, Muna and her friends kept getting in my way so I could never meet you. I was at my wits end, honestly. But, thanks to this chance, I finally get to talk to you in person. I'm so glad. Oh, it really was wonderful. So the one who wanted my help was actually Hydreigon? But even if that's so, I still don't get it. Why did Muna hijack my dream like that, using Hydreigon's voice to tell lies? She showed me that fake image and then tried to attack me. But why? Who knows? I see. You still don't understand, do you? Please allow me to explain why I had to reach out to the human world. And why I asked for help from a human like yourself, Cobalt. You see, the truth is that I... Oh, that, that's Salamence. It sounds like it's coming from inside the cave. I'm, so, I'm sorry, but I must delay my explanation for a moment. Now we need to run. We have to get out of this cave. Okay, so is Hydreigon on our team or what? Our enemies under outnumber us by quite a lot. If we are found, it could be dis disastrous. I wish I could carry you and fly away like we did from that cliff, Cobalt. But I'm already exhausted after carrying you here. Forgiving me, but I'm afraid I have to save my energy and not fly unless it's absolute emergency. Please, for now, we just need to run away on the ground, I mean. And on another note, while I'm not exactly a member of your party, my mind is still in sync with yours, Cobalt. In other words, we can still manage the team attack together. I will also follow your lead when it comes to team skills and do whatever you will do. Oh, does it seem odd that I can use team attacks and skills like that? Well, it's because I am a bit different from regular Pokemon. But explaining that will make will take more time than we have right now. Let's just get to the safety. Hurry. Okay, so Hydreigon is in our team, I guess. Le oh, wow, level 64. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, um, it has moves, Dragon Breath, Crunch, Try it. Try it, eh? And Roar. I have to disable Roar because I do not want that. I do not want my Drake on using Roar. But yeah, this next dungeon that's coming up is quite hard to be honest. Uh, yeah, Orchard Quarry. Really cool scenery, I must say that. The graphics so from this game is amazing. I'm loving it so far. This is definitely probably going to be like the best graphics game out so far. 
and this time, well, when Pokemon X and Y come out, that will be then. But for right now, this game is amazing. I'm loving it. Everything so far of this game, man. I just love it. Like, damn. Um. I, I don't want you to use crunch, though. Team skills. Trap busting. Okay. Oh, there we go. Moves. A dragon. I didn't. I did not want you to use the yeah. um. It's probably a good idea that I battle these Pokemon, even though they're asleep. It's probably a good idea. Don't <laughs> bubble me. Leave me alone. There we go. Um, oh, we can't heal in here? Okay, fine. It'll be that way. Um, let's do chop you. Bubble beam. Go down the back here. What? Oh, damn it. There we go. There we go, are we ready to go ahead? Yes, I am. What do you think I am? But yeah, uh, Hydra is level 64. So we should not have trouble, but... Yeah, what are you? A fungus among us. Oh, damn. Come on, Hydra, gonna attack that Pokemon. There we go. Uh... Yeah, Dragon Breath is doing a lot, too. Thank you for attacking all these Pokemon Hydreigon while I'm healing up. Thank you. And I encourage C. Yeah, whatever. We don't really need that. But yeah, this is a pretty cool cave. I must say that. Um, let's go over here. Are there stairs? No, there's no stairs over here. Fine then. This is a dead end, eh? Uh, that's always good. Not. Uh, let's go up here. This is probably not a dead end. We go up here and... Uh, I feel like the stairs gonna be over here. Nope, this uh, Moon Gist, and it's gonna use Ingrain. I'm gonna use Dual Chop against you. I kill you in one hit. And level 29, so not bad. For an upcoming dungeon, we have to be around level 30 in order to beat the dungeon, so it's. I suggest you train a lot in this dungeon and battle all the Pokemon you see, not this one away from you. But yeah, that's, just, that's, what, that's what I would do. And yeah, let's use you, Dual Chop against you, just kill you. There we go. And Hydreigon, Hydreigon doesn't really do, like, it doesn't get damage at all, like, when it gets attacked, it barely does anything, so, yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about Hydreigon fainting, it will never faint, trust me. That's what it is, charge attack, just do this you, we go with fear of you, and we're, for a second thought we're going in circles, but it doesn't seem like that. And no stairs over here, wonderful. But, if we go over here and up here, oh, there's a Dwebble. Nice to meet you, Dwebble. We can go up here and then up here. Are there stairs up here? Please be up here. I've been everywhere almost. That's just gonna be back there, so we can go up here. So they must be up here. Are they? Here they are. Hey, why do you have to attack that Pokemon? No, no, no flatter. Oops, I think it's out of the way. Thank you. Third floor, not bad, not bad. Ooh, for a second, I heard a Hydreigon there, but luckily, this is my own Hydreigon. Well, he's on my card. I think he's on my card, I'm not sure. But he's following us, so he's obviously somewhat important. Well, he's actually really important, to be honest. Without him, he probably wouldn't be able to go to this uh, dungeon, but yeah, that's just in my opinion. Um, he will chop you. This stuff. Oh, screw you. Well, let's heal up. Um, over here we can go. There's a few. Oh, this is a dead end. This is a dead end. How oh, wonderful. Sarcasm, by the way, if you're wondering. Why are you saying that dead ends are wonderful? They're not. We picked up the health for it, but not bad. Not bad. We need that for some important stuff later on. That's a dead end, so let's go over here. Um, over here, over here. No, you're gonna use protect, eh? Let me use slash then, because I know slash doesn't really do anything. Well, actually, slash does do something, but yeah, never mind. You don't do what I mean, do you? No, you don't. Mm, bite! That is 20 damage for calling out loud. These Pokemon are quite strong. How much damage does you do? How much damage does you do? Recall orb. I didn't kill you, what? I don't know, use Dragon Claw against you, that should kill you. And let's heal up. Wilds. Amoongish Fungish. Blitzel! No, this is, uh, what is this? Zebstrika, that's what it's called, yeah. Um, as well, I think the V-Wave today is Ground-type. 
Bloods, yeah. I might be wrong, I was playing Amos Clan, but... Okay, well, there we go. Let's go on these stairs, and we're at the fifth, no, fourth floor. Okay, so we're not, we're just taking us a, a bit of time, but yeah, it doesn't really matter, because I really need the experience from these levels, of these Pokemon, actually, because, like I said, the upcoming dungeon is quite hard, so be aware of that. So I suggest battling every single Pokemon you can find here. Um, yeah, let's go to Dr. Utah. And that's a dead end, let's go over here. There's a dwebble over there. Hey, you, no. No, 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 Hey, yeah. Dragon Claw. Okay. Oh, wow, there's a lot of Pokemon over here. Did it miss, or is it not effective? Okay, maybe I should probably move out of the way. Yep, I'm gonna move out of the way. I really got me attacking. Did you die? Did you did not die yet, okay. Now he's dead. Uh, let's just stay in here to heal up the Pokemon. So yeah, thank you for telling me that A and B trick, because that really helps me a lot now if I won't be running around the whole time. But, oh, that is stairs. Well, on the fifth floor now, I believe. Yeah, fifth floor. Ork, Orkert Quarry. I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, which I probably am, but yeah, I don't really know how to pronounce these names because they're so odd and yeah. But I, I really like this game so far, to be honest. Mm. Uh, can we see how status? Um, Six thousand to next level. Damn. Let's battle you because we need to do a chop. There we go. We defeated you. Let's battle you. Do a chop. And there we go, we're done. Because I need all the experience, like like I said before, we need all the experience you can get. Otherwise, you're gonna have a hard time battling anything. Um uh, let's see. The Goth Rita Turn to Pulver, does it? Yes it does. Dual chop, there we go. Um Ooh, you Dual Chop! Surprise attack! Haha! Dragon Claw! What does not kill you? Wow, okay then, you must be like ultra strong then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you must be like level thousand. No! Come back. Hey! Hi, Dragon! Bug bite. What on earth are you battling, Hi, Dragon? <gasps> Zap Streaka! There we go, we, we did not kill you. We find you dragon card in the face and you're dead. There we go. Uh, yes, there are the stairs. Um, seven floors, so there's probably like ten floors. I forgot how many floors there are, but... Okay, every time I see these side toes, they're asleep, so... I'm not sure if they're supposed to be asleep or if this is a coincidence. And let's do dual chop against you. There we go. Uh, any floors? Any stairs, I should say. No problem. Dual chop to the face, and you're dead. Um, ah, another. Oh no, toxic. Do I have a heal seed uh, items? Um, no, I, I have a health up. Let's use that. There we go. Uh, that's that's about good. Uh, we don't have any dual chops. Um, Max Elixir, let's use his Max Elixir and Cobalt. There we go. Dual chop the face. And we're done there. Pure Seed, okay, we might need that sometime in the future. Um, uh, yes, I have a good in the back. Can we help with that? Dual chop the face. And you're not dead, so these Pokemon must be like little 30s, I guess. Cause, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, um, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, please, sir. Sleep seed. Okay, we need that for the. I think we're gonna. I think there's a boss battle ahead. I might be wrong though. I, I don't think there is, but it might be something important that we need that for later on. Who knows? Okay, we're done there. Whole oh, bunch of Zebstrika. Let's do dual chop against you. Should kill you. Try attack. Dual chop. Yeah, try attack. Kill you. Mm, no stairs. There are the stairs. Whoopee. 
eight floors, so I don't really know how many floors there are, but yeah, I didn't really do that much research. All I know is that upcoming dungeons is going to be really hard, and you need to be like level 30, so like I've said a million times, and just pointing out again, that you need to train, like really bad. So, um, use trains. Hey, why did you wake up? I didn't wake you up, did I? Oh, well, let's do a copy you. That, that, that lets you die, and... Oh no, it's a Fungus Amoongus! Dual chop against all these stupid little Pokemon. Dragon Claw against you. Oh no, no, Fever Shot, no, no, Dual chop. Here we go. Um, let's see what's over here. And... Oh, it's a dead end, eh? Fine then. Well, let's go over here. What's up here? Dead end as well? There are the... No. Dual chop against you to kill you off. It does not kill you. Okay, then. That does not kill you either. Well, it, it missed, so, yeah. Max elixir for the win. Let's go up. Yes, I'm gonna go up the stairs. Ninth floor. So, yeah, um. Let's go over here, over here, over here, over here. Down here. No stairs. Okay, well, at least it's not a dead end, though. Um. Oh, stupid little devil. How can you live that? Like, damn. You must be like level 40 dwebble, huh? Mm -hmm. Let me try. Let's do a lot. No, it doesn't. Well, it's just going dual chop anyway. Well, I guess we don't finish it, but... You get the point. Dual chop is a lot of damage. I like that move a lot. And dual chop you. You can use bubble beam or whatever. I don't care. Because bubble beam does almost nothing to me. Dual chop you. Oh, it kills you now. Okay, then. Anything other stairs up here? No, it's dead. Oh, damn it. Why are there so many dead ends? Actually, that's like the first dead end we've seen. So, um, let me chop you. There we go. Uh, does not kill you. Finally, dragon claw you. And so, I guess we have to go up here now. And then up here. No stairs. Fine then. Watch the stairs be like all the way over there where we just were, like where we started. Like, yeah, I bet you there can be right there. No, never mind. There's a Zeb streak over here, though. Dual chop you. And we can go over here. No, what? We're almost done with this whole dungeon. There's no stairs. Like, what on earth is going on here? Oh, there's stairs. There they are. Yes, I have to go on. So, yeah, um. I think I'll be right back. So, one sec. So, yeah, I'm back now. I'm um, sorry about that. I just had to go do a few things. Including some homework that I apparently missed. Um, yeah. Because, uh, I just kind of talking about like, Hey, uh, Jake, you need to go do your homework because, um, yeah, your, your, um, teacher called and uh, you have some homework to do over the weekend, over the break. And so I wanted to finish that, so it's probably like a few hours later now. Um, I'm not sure what the heck we're supposed to do. Or which floor we're even on. Um, <laughs> but we'll probably find out in a few minutes. Minutes, because that's my name for that's my uh, that's my new word for minutes. I like calling them mimits. Yeah, if you, if you guys call them mimits, let me know because that would be pretty cool. Like having a bunch of people call them mimits, minute mimits. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Um, not what the hell? How are you not dead yet? Damn, man. Does it take you that long to just to die? Um, no, 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 no. Let's go over here. And up here, and up here, and up here, and up here. And uh, do we have the stairs up here? No. <gasps> we have a Zeb Shrika, though. Let's, uh, let's use um, a dual chop. Does not kill you, but you use Thunder Wave, so I guess I'm paralyzed. So. Swag! <laughs> oh, damn it! Leave <gasps> me alone! Oh, uh, you picked up that? Let me, let, me, let me teach you a lesson. Do not pick up my elixirs. Yeah, the bag is too full. Oh yeah. Uh, where's the plain seeds? I know a bunch of them. There we go. Throw this thing away. Yeah. Dual chop. Dragon claw. You're not dead yet. What the heck? What level are you, man? Like level one over nine thousand? Yeah, that's always good to bring that up. 
Um, damn, Calum's gonna be behind a lot of levels once we X out of this place, because I'm, I'm, I'm already level 30 for crying out loud. And yeah, I just noticed that the V-Way for today is, um, bug. Hey, yeah, I, I missed, uh, the sleep trap before I disabled it. I really don't know what I did with it, but yeah. No stairs over here, okay, fine, then, be that way. What are you? Health orb? Yeah. We're too cool for health orbs. Yeah, because we're, we're, we're hit so like that. <laughs> no, I don't have any jewel to uplift. Mm. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Do I have any ordinary? Yes, I do. Thank you, I'm ordinary. I was having been dead a long time ago. Yeah, but I'm still confused. Oh, never mind. I'm not confused anymore. Okay. Then. La 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 la. Oh, it's Oh, I don't have any. Okay, let's use a max lecture then. Um, we need more max lectures. Oh, hey, the heck, the heck no! Please be alone. Blood my dragon always work. Hey, no, no. Same with you. No. Same with you. No. Hundred and ten damage. Not bad. Oh, there are stairs right here. Nice, nice, nice. Twelfth floor already. Okay. Let's see how it is. There's a lot of buttons. Right here. No! Am I toxic? Am I toxic? So that makes sense. My poison test was just not toxic. <laughs> that makes no sense. Probably does in some weird language. I don't know about, but in my language, which is English, I, it doesn't make sense to me. There's a goth retail over there, though. Which is probably the thing. Fake tears, what is that? It lowers my defense, eh? Oh, I'm fine, I'm just gonna... There we go. <gasps> a fungus among us! We killed you. There's a nifty box right there if anyone wants to pick that up, which I doubt anyone wants to, because nifty is a useful box. If that makes sense, which it doesn't in my mind. Um, let's go up here. I think we've already been. Oh, that is stairs. Okay, for a second. Oh my damn, we've already been here. Never mind. 13th floor, so there must be like 14 floors here then. What? Oh, it's one of these easy floors. Not bad. And this is a long one. Haha, uh -huh, that's what C said. Yes, I know. Some people, if no one brings it up, I'll bring it up then, huh? Let's battle you, dual chop. It's just the experience. And let's battle you. Dual chop. There we go. Let's go on ahead. Are we ready to go ahead? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, okay, we're done there. The orchard, 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 Cory is done.